a Group 3 to a Class 3. That is race number five, and it is the Werther Handicap over the 1,200 metres. Cruisin has his second start since September last year. Hafida Lane is a newcomer for Douglas White. He's a winner over 14 and 1,600 on rain-affected tracks at York. Moidaki, the hood off, the cheek pieces on after a disappointing debut. Big Brook, formerly for Casey Fogden, now for Casper Founds, has won over 1,400 on a good track and 1,600 on slow track at the Sunshine Coast in Australia. Romantic Combo was a winner at Haydock, over 1,600 in the slow, and Good Luck Friend comes up into class number three. He dug really deep to just miss True Legend last time. He's a very promising type, is a Good Luck Friend. Joe Marira rides for Ricky Yu. Cruising, Big Brook and Biz Power, Tom have made the Chung Far Trek. A yeah, good pace uh, here from the uh, get go over the uh, trip of 1200 metres. Good luck, friend, uh, was right up on the pace last time out, just wasn't able to try it, uh, quite knock off True Legend. Cruising will be handy with uh, Jerry Chow. He's got a good second up record, this uh, horse. Hafit Alain should be uh, right there in the mixes uh, well. Um, was Tad Keen early in his recent barrier trial. It might be a little awkward for California. Uh, Levy there, Romantic Combo has shown a little bit of pace. And back towards the tail, you've got uh, Biz Power. Wind and Grass should be able to settle somewhere midway, midfield on the rail from Barrier 2. Cruising, as you mentioned, has got a really good uh, second up record. It's quite well rated now with Jerry Chow taking all that uh, weight of his back. Uh, he goes nicely in his work there. That's him in front uh, in the red saddle cloth. Well, they're both red, aren't they? But he was, <laughs> he's the one in front. I thought, uh, good luck, friend. Now, he was really pushed out here in, in this particular piece uh, to chase his, um, his partner there, Unique Treasure. But he, he, I thought he made up some really good ground, so it was a nice piece from him in the end. And happy time. He uh, bobs up at some big prices in the past, uh, this horse. And, uh, look, he's uh, going nice. He's got barrier 12, which will be a little bit awkward for him, but does come in with a lightish weight, this happy time. And he has placed two from three at the track and distance has a happy time. First replay, Tom features wind and grass. Done plenty of racing lately. You wouldn't know it. He just keeps racing well. He's had 10 starts this season. He's had to three third placings. I'd just love to see him get up to 1,400 metres because I think that's where he, uh, it would be really ideal for him. You can see him starting to wind up down the outside. Uh, California Levy in this uh, race. He raced outside the leader and kept on OK. Just might have peaked sort of over the final 200 metres on his uh, run and keep you warm. I'm not quite so convinced about him at this point, but would love to see him get up to 1,400 metres, Paul, Wind and Grass. Yeah, exactly. I've got still got him in on a minor line because he is running pretty well, Wind and Grass. Yeah, I'm a bit cold on keep you warm. This was, uh, <laughs> this was a very big finish by Biz Power first up for a long time, Paul. You would think he's only going to be fitter after this run. Yeah, it's a nice run from him, and you've got uh, Zach Purden jumping aboard. Uh, he's now with Paul O'Sullivan as well. So, uh, look... This is the second run for the new stable. The horse is going really well here, I thought. Hit the line strongly, and uh, it was a nice run, so I've got him in for sure. Yeah, big run from a wide draw. Gate 14 with Ben So last time out. Got back, got to the outside, but ran on pretty strongly there behind Relentless Me and also a war room. Zach Purton goes on board, so that certainly does stand out. The favourite, Tom, good luck, friend. He's currently at 2.5. He just fails to run the winner down here, but he does look pretty exciting. Yeah, he's my idea of the winner here. 2.5 and 2.1. He'd be the, the banker uh, through uh, what Triple Tree is if you were looking to some bank or something in this race. Uh, raced outside the leader, kept coming and just missed behind a true legend who uh, goes around on the, the programme in a, a later race. Joe Marrera gets on board this time from a, a good draw of gate number four. Just like the way uh, kept on coming in this race just tonight in the shadows, Paul. Yeah, I'm with your time, I think he can win this race as well. He seems pretty progressive. He's only had the three runs as well. Trial now for Big Brook, Paul. It's a good thing that Chad Schofield is a rather tall jockey. He might have needed a ladder to get on otherwise. He's a big boy, isn't he, Big Brook? Uh, he's 1,324 pounds, which would make him one of the heaviest horses here in Hong Kong. He's had the three trials. He did have blinkers on in all his runs in Australia. Uh, he hasn't got the blinkers on here, so I'm just happy to watch him on debut. Yeah, both trials have been OK. That last win at uh, Caloundra, he came from a long way back and was able to uh, win on that occasion. But, yeah, just happy to watch. Uh, Zach has ridden him in a couple of trials as well. A big spacious track is that Sunshine Coast track that he has form around, so Sha Tin should be no problem for him. OK, Paul, selections. Yeah, I'm with the 10 here. I think uh, good luck, friend, looks the, the hardest to beat. Uh, cruising, I think he's quite well rated now. Uh, his last win was off 73, his only win from his six starts. He had a few problems, but seems to be over them now. Biz Power after that big break and win the grass running on late. 10, 1, 6 and 4 for me, Tom. 
Same numbers, same winner, but uh, the other three just in a slightly different order. But I think Good Luck Friend is going to be really tough to beat in this race for Ricky Yu and uh, Joe Marrera. Four wind and grass, like the way he got home last time out. Cruising has got a good second up record. Two starts second up for a win and a third. Has the weight relief as well. And Biz Power goes into the mix off the back of that good last start performance in a quiet trial. So 10, 4, 1 and 6. It's all about the 10. Good luck, friend, from the boys to win race number five at Chart 10 on Sunday.